Hey everybody, and this is going to be a tutorial on Raycast and Game Maker, how to put in your own objects, uh, menus, weapons, and such forth. Now, I've already done some of the work already. I've already taken a GIF, uh, basically a, um, J a PNG or whatever GIF type format thing, and it was of a gun shooting. I put it through a image editor, and I was able to extract all the animations. What I then did was convert them into a BMP format, bitmap format, and I converted them down to the size of 64 by 74. That is very important because in game recasting Game Maker, you can only have uh, weapon images the size of 64 by 74. And what I did was I took the weapon images and I dragged and dropped them into the uh, re the bitmap folder. The bitmap folder is located in your recasting game engine folder. And that should be in your programs folder. It will then pop up. Hey, do you want to? Uh, let's see if I can show you real quick. So I'll copy these. Copy, and I will paste. Paste. Says, hey, do you want to copy? You will say yes. I want to copy. I've already done it, so I don't want to change anything. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your uh, recasting game maker color adjust. You're going to go to file, load texture. Now it's automatically going to load up your bitmap folders um, by default. You're going to click on an image, then you're going to save over the same image. What this is doing is, for some reason, it has a problem of you just dragging and dropping and replacing one image with another. It, will, it has some sort of weird problem with that. But if you go through the color adjust, it will say, okay, you're one of us, hip, hip, hooray, all that stuff. It's really kind of dumb, and, but it works. So write file, yes. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to game bitmaps, import game bitmaps and this will import it into the engine saying it is a usable uh, texture or object. Now to replace your um, HUD and all that stuff what you're gonna have to actually do is basically find out what its dimension is. Like this the menu is dimensions 320 by 24 well, what you're going to do is you're going to go into paint one of your other programs, get a 320 by 24, and then add in stuff. Now, it has to be almost exactly like this. You can change it up a little bit, but you can't replace level, put it over here. Take health, put it over here. Take bullets, put it in the middle. You can't do that because it's not that full depth of a game engine. Um, so you, you, you can redecorate but leave everything where it is. Uh, like I said, you can redecorate like the help. Just put new help information. You just can't change the size, can't do anything like that. On the bullet, you can only have one bullet. So what I do is in the game engine, uh, let's see, enemies, port floor and ceiling, import weapons. I usually set everything to not show the bullet. So on the, on the knife, you wouldn't have a bullet. On the, a weapon one, it's a 1911 handgun. I do not, I say, it, it's asking me, do I want to show the bullet? I say, no, I don't want to show the bullet. Now if I had a flamethrower, yeah, I'd show the bullet. Because then, I all I would do is then replace this bullet texture, which is more like a red, flaming iron ball with a uh, fiery texture. I set the explode to explode, or maybe if I had a missile, I would then do that. I would then show the bullet as a missile and then do the explode as a missile exploding. So, hope that helped. And if you have any more questions, please note down below or send me a note, uh, YouTube message, whatever, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Bye.